हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रविवीरा श्री कृष्ण एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल दी अकेडमी प्लस जहां पर होती है सिर्फ और सिर्फ मुद्दे की बात सो so, स्टूडेंट्स जैसा कि आपको पता होगा हमने और दीपक सर ने मिल एक बड़ा ही बेहतरीन सा कोर्स लॉन्च किया है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ क्रैश कोर्स स्पेशली फॉर द टेंथ बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स जिनका एग्ज़ाम अभी बिल्कुल मई में स्केड्यूल्ड है होने वाला है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ आपकी तैयारी बड़े अच्छे तरीके से बड़े अच्छे गुड फॉर्म में चल रही होगी तो आपको हेल्प करने के लिए हमारा एक हेल्पिंग हैंड है आप ये समझ लीजिए एंड इट विल बी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी प्रेजेंट हो गई एंड जैसा कि आपको पता है मैं फिजिक्स स्टार्ट करने वाला हूँ फिजिक्स में जो हम चैप्टर लेने वाले हैं दैट इज़ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बड़ा ही इंटरेस्टिंग बड़ा ही इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है और इस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी के अंदर जितने भी सब टॉपिक्स हैं आप देख सकते हैं बोर्ड पे लिखा हुआ है इन सब को हम बारी बारी से कवर करने वाले हैं एंड आफ्टर कवरिंग द कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सब टॉपिक्स आई बी सॉल्विंग द प्रीवियस बोर्ड ईयर क्वेश्चन एज वेल तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रिक करंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट नाउ एज यू नो दैट द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज नथिंग बट द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस पासिंग थ्रू अ कंडक्टर इन यूनिट टाइम और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज नथिंग बट द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस नाउ मैथमेटिकली दिस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट आई can be expressed in terms of charge flowing through a conductor in unit time right now since this charge is quantized so it can also be written as n times e divided by t now the charge has the unit coulomb and the time has the unit second so this electric current can be expressed in terms of coulomb per second which is also known as ampere and this is this is the si unit this is the si unit of an electric current now the next important point regarding electric current is the measuring device which is used to measure the electric current and the name of that device is an ammeter right so you please write the instrument the measuring instrument the measuring instrument the measuring instrument used to measure used to measure an electric current an electric current an electric current is an ammeter is an ammeter so this is very important now the very next is important point which you must be knowing is that how this ammeter is being connected in an electrical circuit so this ammeter this ammeter is always is always connected is always connected in series this is very important this ammeter is always connected in series with the electrical circuit with this electrical circuit for instance let us suppose this is the wire and this is the end a and this is end b of the wire and we just wanted to measure the amount of current flowing through this particular element then what we'll do we will add one device called ammeter in series with this element now this can measure the current i and this is the polarity across this an ammeter right so here you can see that this ammeter is connected in series with this electric circuit right now the very next question which is being asked in the board examination is that why this ammeter is connected in series right so this is the very important question being asked in the board examination and what is the answer the answer is very simple the very next important point is the resistance the resistance of 
of an ideal of an ideal ammeter is zero and 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 practically and practically it has and practically it has very low resistance practically it has very low it's very important it has very low resistance iska matlab ye hua एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन पूछा जाएगा कि हम क्यों एमीटर के अक्रॉस जो सीरीज एलिमेंट होता है क्यों उसकी वैल्यू काफ़ी लो रखी जाती है लो इसलिए रखी जाती है सो so दैट कि इस सर्किट में जो एलिमेंट लगा है उसके अक्रॉस हम मैक्सिमम करंट फाइंड आउट कर सकें अगर सपोज इस एमीटर की कुछ सिग्निफिकेंट वैल्यू हो रेसिस्टेंस की राइट right? अगर इस इस एमीटर की कुछ सिग्निफिकेंट वैल्यू हो जाए तो क्या होगा कि हम जो एक्चुअल मेन करंट है वो अल्टर कर जाएगा और जो हम एक्चुअल करंट हम इस रेसिस्टर के थ्रू इस एलिमेंट के थ्रू हम फाइंड आउट करना चाहते हैं हम वो फाइंड आउट नहीं कर पाएंगे एंड दैट इज़ द ओनली रीजन वाई दिस एमीटर रेसिस्टेंस इज केप्ट एज लो एज पॉसिबल Now let us understand the direction of an electric current. Now through this circuit diagram, you can clearly see that a portion of a metallic conductor is being connected with a battery of voltage V, and the electrons will start flowing from the negative potential of the battery to the positive potential of the battery. But current always flow from high potential of the battery to the low potential of the battery. so in this way we can clearly say that the direction of the electric current is always opposite to the direction of the flow of the electrons now if the direction of electric current is in this direction then obviously the direction of the flow of electrons that is the flow of negative charges will be the opposite but initially when the uh, electrons were not discovered then the direction of the flow of the positive charges were supposed to be the direction of an electric current so you should not confuse about the direction of electric current okay the direction of electric current is in the same direction of flow of the positive charges but the direction of electric current will be always in the opposite direction of the flow of the electrons now the very important question which is being asked in the examination is whether current is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity what's your point of view see current is having both the magnitude and the direction so shall we say that current is a vector quantity no not at all see although current is having both magnitude and direction but it is not a vector quantity let us understand suppose uh, there is a current of magnitude 2 ampere passing in this direction and there is one more current of magnitude 3 ampere passing in this direction now there is junction or a nodal point here and the resultant current which is passing from this direction it will be 5 ampere right see it cannot be a vector quantity because a vector quantity cannot be added like this right a vector quantity is a quantity which is having both magnitude and direction and it also follows the vector law of addition this is not a vector law of addition and that is why current cannot be a vector quantity so for the time being we can say it's a scalar quantity but in the higher classes we will see and we will categorize current as a tensor quantity okay let us solve some questions on electric current according to this question we have to calculate the number of electrons in one coulomb of charge now to solve this question we need to have one formula which is given as q equals to n times e as we know the charges are quantized that is why we have written q equal to n into e here n is the number of electrons right therefore therefore n we can write it like q upon e what is e e is basically the charge on electron now the coulomb q is given as 1 so this is the charge and the charge on electrons it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 now after solving this can i write it like 10 to the power 
19 divided by 1.6 or we can also write it like 10 into 10 raised to power 18 divided by 1.6 after solving this it will be around 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 electrons so this is a huge amount isn't it so one coulomb of charge contains this much electrons 6.25 into 10 raised to power 18 now the next question uh, a charge of 150 coulomb flows through a wire in one minute find the electric current flowing through it so what is given the question first we will write the given data given data what is given we have given 150 coulomb of charge so we will write q equal to 150 coulomb in one minute so time is also given so t equal to one minute so we will convert it into the seconds it will be equal to 60 seconds and we have to calculate the current value question mark so as we know as we know i equals to q upon t where q is given as 150 coulomb and time as 60 seconds here 0 0 will be cancelled out and it will be equal to 5 upon 2 which is equal to 2.5 ampere therefore the current value is coming out to be 2.5 ampere now move on to the next question uh, this question has been asked in board 2015 a steady current of 1 ampere flows through a conductor calculate the number of electrons flowing through any section of conductor in one second so first we will write the given data so what are the data is given 1 ampere current is given so we will write i equal to 1 ampere right we have to calculate the number of electrons so n equal to question mark and time is also given t equals to 1 second so again we will apply the formula i equals to q upon t now i equals to what is q q equal to n times e upon t right therefore n equals to i into t divided by e now just put the value and get the result right what is i i is given as 1 ampere time t is also given it is 1 second and e charge on electron it is given the question 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so when you will solve this question it is it will be coming out to be 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 so the number of electrons are 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 now moving to the another topic electric potential but before understanding electric potential we need to understand what exactly is the meaning of an electric field so let us understand electric field electric field so what is electric field so it is the reason it is the reason around around an electric charge an electric charge where where its effect its effect can be experienced can be experienced right so this is the charge particle and this is the region this is the area where its effect can be felt now moving to our original topic electric potential so electric potential is nothing but the work done right in bringing a unit positive charge particle at infinity to a point in the electric field let us suppose this is point a so at this point the potential will be v a right so this is what the concept of electric potential so my dear students here you can see 
when I'll be moving a unit positive charge from infinity to point A, it will be termed as the potential of point A. And when I'll be moving the same unit positive charge from infinity to point B, it will be termed as the potential of point B. Now, one can ask to define what is potential difference. So, the potential difference between these two points in the electric field can be defined as the work done in bringing these two charges from one point to the another point. We will write the definition of potential difference. The potential difference between two points in an electric field is the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point. Right? So, as per our diagram, here the potential difference will be the difference of potential of point A and point B. Mathematically, mathematically, potential can be defined as the ratio of work done divided by charge. So, this potential difference V can be written as W upon Q. So, this is the formula which relates between the potential difference work done and charge. Now, the next important question which can be asked to define 1 volt, right. Now, to define 1 volt, you need to put this W as 1 joule and this charge as 1 coulomb. So, it will become 1 joule per coulomb, right. So, definitely it will be 1 volt. Right. So, the potential difference, the potential difference between two points will be one volt if one joule of work is done in bringing in bringing one coulomb of charge from one point to another right so in this way we can define one volt now the next important point is voltage or potential difference or potential difference is a, a scalar quantity is a scalar quantity right because potential difference has not any definite direction it has only magnitude hence it will be a scalar quantity. The next important point is the measuring instrument. The measuring instrument which is used to measure potential difference between 
two points of a conductor is called voltmeter very important point is called volt meter so it's a very important device which is used to measure the voltage between two points now the another important point is the volt meter the volt meter is always connected in parallel in parallel to the electric circuit through which through which potential difference has to be measured right now the very next important point is an ideal voltmeter an ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance has infinite resistance and and practically and practically it is having very high resistance so this question can be asked in your board examinations right so you should remember that an ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance but a practical voltmeter has a very high resistance now the thing is why the voltmeter has very high resistance let us like take a look suppose this is our voltmeter and it is being connected through a conductor right now we have to record the exact voltage across this device right if the resistance of this voltmeter has to be very low then it will be very difficult so if the resistance internal resistance of this voltmeter will be low then it will draw some amount of some amount of main current right and due to which the exact measurement will not be possible right and that is the only reason why the internal resistance of this voltmeter is kept as high as possible so that it could not draw any amount of main current through the circuit right now let us solve some numerical questions on potential difference you can see the question on the board how much energy is given to each coulomb of charge passing through a 6 volt battery so what is given here we have one coulomb of charge so charge is given one coulomb and the battery capacity voltage potential difference is also given it is 6 volts right now we know that we know that the formula for the potential difference v is given as work done divided by charge we need to calculate how much energy therefore w is equals to v multiplied by q v is given as 6 volt and q is given as 1 coulomb so this will be nothing but 6 joule right hence the energy will be 6 joule and this is nothing but the work done right now this is the previous year board question and we have to calculate the amount of work done in shifting a charge of 2 coulombs from a point a to b having potential 110 volts and 25 volt respectively so this is a direct formula based question as you know that the potential difference 
पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज गिवन एज वर्क डन डिवाइडेड बाय चार्ज राइट सो द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस हेयर इट इज 110 माइनस 25 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन सो वर्क डन डिवाइडेड बाय चार्ज चार्ज इट इज गिवन एज टू कुलम्स राइट टू देर फोर देर फोर वर्क डन डब्ल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू एटी फाइव इंटू टू विच इज वन सेवेंटी जूल राइट सो द वर्क डन इज वन सेवेंटी जूल थैंक यू अगेन प्रीवियस इयर बोर्ड क्वेश्चन and we have to draw a schematic diagram for a circuit in which three resistors r1 r2 r3 a plug key under closed condition this is important plug key under closed condition and ammeter are joined in series with a 5 volt battery also a voltmeter is connected to measure the potential difference across resistor r1 so we have various components and we need to connect it into the electrical circuit now we also need to understand how the voltmeters and ammeters are being connected into the electrical circuit i have already dealt about it right that ammeter is always connected in series with the circuit and the voltmeter is always connected in parallel with the circuit through which the potential is to be measured so let us uh, try to draw the diagram so we have r1 r2 and r3 uh, and we have a battery of 5 volt and we will indicate the polarity this is the positive end of the battery and this is the negative end right the longer end it is positive and the shorter end is negative and we have one ammeter it has to be connected always in series with the circuit and again we will see the polarity then we have one plug key it is in closed condition right and then uh, this is r1 r2 and this is r3 and we have to connect a voltmeter also which will measure the potential difference across resistor r1 so here we will connect the voltmeter and as we know the voltmeter is connected in parallel so we have connected voltmeter like this so this is our schematic diagram thank you